Hi everyone, in last part we installed the API package in Laravel project so that we can work with the APIs. So if you haven't watched that part, link is given in the description box. So in this part we will create our first API where data will come from the database. So which database and which uh, table we will use there. So uh, our database name is Laravel there and uh, our table name is students. So we will see this data as an API in Laravel in this part. All right. So for that, first we will open .env file and add some database configurations. Then we have to make controller and model. We'll get data from the database. We'll create API and test this API. And I also know, know, uh, let you know the types of API methods and the use case of them. And at last, we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel project, job and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So now let's open the .env file and uh, add database configuration. So you will find this file on the root of your project. You will find two files, .env.example. You don't need to touch this file. Just directly open .env file. There you will see some database connection and these configurations. So first you need to change MySQL to uh, SQLite to the MySQL because there we are using MySQL database. After that you can uncomment all of these configuration from line number 23 to 27. Database host is perfect, port is also perfect, uh, database name. So see, in our case, database name is Laravel only, right? Here you can see that. So if the database name is something different, maybe college, ABC, XYZ, same you can put there in the uh, DB, DB database, right? After that, username is root. By default, uh, MySQL username is root and the database uh, password is blank. So if you just change the username and password, you can just put the updated things. Otherwise, you can simply put their root and uh, just leave blank the uh, database password. Okay, so after that, let's open your project again, and open the terminal. And do we have to just add a model and controller also. So I'm just making a controller first PHP artisan make controller and controller name let's say we can put there student controller hit enter and after that we can make a model also with the same way make model and our model name will be student because our table's name is students so model student perfect after that you can close this and uh, then let's open the app, then controller, and let me create one function there. Function I'm putting there, list. You can put any name to this one. Maybe students, list, data, whatever you want to put. And then for a moment, I'm just returning there, list function called or something, right? So you will feel like this is same as we are uh, creating the controller model uh, previously without APIs. Yeah, flow is exactly same but the path and there is some minute changes that we have to do with the APIs like uh, when we are creating the web uh, applications with the Laravel then uh, we are adding the route in the web.php right uh, in the routes folder in this file but now when we are working with the API so we have to create the route inside the apis.php file so this route we created in the previous file so if you want to delete it you can delete otherwise just leave it okay so now just route get see in apis we have four api methods i let you know in the detail just after that but here we are using the get api method right so we have to just use route get and then students i'm putting the route name right and after that we have to put the class name and function name so we have to import them so just simply use this namespace so that use namespace and then student controller like this and then after that student controller colon colon class and there we will put the list method name whatever we are using there so now let's try to test this is working fine or not so let me uh, okay so this data is coming from the previous part because before making this part i was uh, testing uh, it right practicing is so just api and then student and now you can see that list function called same thing we just written there now we have to fetch the data with the help of model. So what we need to do, we have to import the model, use app models, and then 
student right like this so let's simply put there student colon colon all all means we can get the old data from this table and now let's see here you can see that we are getting the old data if you want to match name anil siddhu peter sid everything there you can see it anil siddhu peter sid bruce everything is there all right so this is the way that how we can create api now maybe you can ask like so api is creating is so simple yes this is so simple but we have to add some more things because uh, sometime whenever we are working with the apis we have to add some security tokens so that we will do in the upcoming parts like how either we can use centum passport or jwt token there are lots of uh, uh, ways to make api secure that we we'll learn in the upcoming part so but you can say that this is the basics of a simple api now i think is how many types of api methods we have see we have four api methods which is get post put patch and delete whenever we are working with the get api we can test directly out to the uh you can say that on the browser but there is some different tools also that help us to test apis for example we can use thunder or postman and all and that we learn in the next part all right yeah and uh, see uh, in the browser we can directly use the get apis but in case of post put patch and delete we need some specific tools so maybe we'll use vs uh, vs studio thunder tool to test these apis and uh, so and if you are talking about what is the use of these methods so get method we use whenever we want to get the data from database post method is getting used when we are storing the data in the database put and patch is basically used for update and edit data delete is basically used the delete de deleting the row from the database thank you so much if you still have any confusion any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in comment section this is my paytm number for donation thank you guys thank you so much for watching this part